Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Miran Kirikosian and today's ballroom step is gonna be the hip twist chasse. I have my good friend Paul Carmirian. You might recognize him as an all-star from So You Think You Could Dance. He's also worked with international artists such as Ed Sheeran and Andrea Bocelli. I'm gonna have Paul show you guys this step with music first and then he'll break it down. What's up everybody, my name is Paul Kamirian. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you the hip twist chasse. So let's get started. So you have a step back with your right leg as you transfer your weight to your back leg. Then you're gonna step forward onto your left leg, okay? So really in, in Latin you really wanna have the idea of transferring weight from one leg to the other um, at all times, okay? So we start with our right leg back and then we step forward with our left leg. The next step you're gonna do is you're gonna take your right leg and you're gonna cross step across your body. So you're gonna go right and then collect left. One more time, let's go back. So you're taking a step with your right leg back, transferring your weight back, taking a step forward onto your left leg, taking a diagonal step with your right leg across your body, and collecting your left leg together. And as we collect, we do what's called a bevel, which is basically your weight is on your right leg and your left leg is touching the, the heels together. So your two heels are touching together and you have like a, a small V uh, shape that's open in the front, yeah? And you really wanna think about straightening your right leg and bending your left leg. Let's go back one more time. So we did back with your right leg, forward with your left leg, cross step with your right leg, collect with your left leg, bevel. From here, all you wanna do is just step out, transferring your weight to your right leg by pushing off of your left leg. So, push out, yeah? One more time from this part. So you have a bevel, you push off your left leg, you transfer your weight to your right leg. Yep, easy. One more time. So we did right, left, cross right, collect left push off to the right, yeah? So that's the first part of the hip twist chasse. Let's continue after we do it one more time. So we have one, step forward, cross step, collect, and switch. Now you're gonna do the same thing in reverse. So our left leg is to our side, we step back with our left leg, now we're doing the opposite mirrored image. So we're gonna step forward with our right leg, transferring your weight. You're gonna collect your leg and step across your body on your left leg. Collect and step. Then you're gonna bevel your right leg to your left leg. From here, you push off from your right leg, putting your body weight to, the, uh, to your left leg. And out, yeah? Let's do the left side one more time. So we did step back, forward, collect, cross, step with the left, bevel your leg to the right, and push off and step with your left. I wanna now put counts to it, so whenever you do it with music, it's a lot more uh, easier to do together. So you have, your right leg is gonna step on the count two. So you have two, as you transfer your weight, you're gonna step on three, you're gonna collect your step on and, cha, cha, one. Yeah, one more time. So we did two, three, and four, and one. Now you're gonna do the same thing onto the other side. So you're gonna go left on two, three, step forward, collect and four, and one. Cool, let's try that again. And two, three, and four, and one. And two, three, and four, and one. Now you really wanna remember the arms are an extension of your body. You're not really moving them separate to your body. So everything that's, for now, everything that you wanna do is just make it an extension of your body rather than moving it separate to your body. So really connect your uh, hips and your core um, to send it out to your extremities. So as we're stepping, I'm just 
using, focusing more on my hip action than my arm action. So what the hip action is, is as you're stepping back, you really want to think of twisting your hip to the right. And whenever you're stepping to your left, you're going to twist your hip to the left. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on the figure eight, there'll be a link in the description box. But for now, let's keep it at a simple uh, rock movement where you're stepping, as you're stepping back, you're rocking your hip to the right, then you're rocking the hip to the left as you step. So if you were to keep your legs together, you're just twisting your hips side to side, yeah? You're not really moving your upper body so much, it's really of just the, the hip action. So as I'm stepping back and transferring my weight, I'm twisting my hip back, and then I'm twisting my hip forward. Now whenever you're taking your diagonal step, you really wanna think about twisting your hip to the side. So I'm facing towards the wall, and then I'm taking a step forward, and then I'm twisting my hip to the right. And as I do that, I'm shifting my weight from my left leg to my right leg as I twist my hip to the left. But my weight is still on the right leg, yeah? So one more time, just like that. So we take a step back as we twist our hip to the back, our right side. Then we step forward as we twist our hip to the left. We collect our leg as we face the wall, take a step forward with our right leg, collect our left leg to our right leg as a bevel, as we uh, squeeze our right side, our right hip, and then we push off our left leg and take a step to the right as we settle down our hip to the right, yeah? So one more time like that and let's continue on to the other side to explain the other side. So we did back, settle, step left, settle to your left, collect, step forward with your right leg, collect and bevel and push off your left leg to step onto your right leg. Now the same thing to the other side, except you're reversing everything. So now I'm gonna take a step back with my left leg and settle my hip to the left as I twist to the left. But do you see I'm not shifting my shoulders with my, my hips, I'm keeping my shoulders square to the front. And as I do that, I'm twisting, now I'm stepping forward again and collecting and twisting to the wall to my right side, stepping forward with my left leg, collecting and beveling my right leg to my left leg, and pushing off from my right leg to transfer my weight to my left leg. Out, okay? Let's try it again with counts a little bit faster, yeah? So we did two, three, and cha, cha, one, and two, three, and cha, cha, one. One more time, just like that. And two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one. Cool. Let's go a little bit faster now. And two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one, and two, three, and four, and one. All right, guys, so now we're gonna try it together. We're gonna go half speed, and then we're gonna try to go faster and faster, okay? One, two, three, and cha-cha, one, and two, three, and cha-cha, one, and two, three, and cha-cha, one, and two, three, and cha-cha, one. Good, let's try it faster now, ready? Cha-cha one, two, three, cha-cha one, and 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 two, three, cha-cha one. Good. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want more ballroom tutorials with Paul, please let me know in the comment box. You could also follow him on all his other social media platforms. You can see it below. This is your first time on the channel. You like what you saw. Make sure to subscribe, tell a friend about it. You could also follow me on all my other social media platforms as well. I do put different content out there, so make sure to follow me there. And I'll see you guys next time with a brand new video.